I don't think this is safe. I'm a workplace health and safety officer, I should not be doing this. There's a hole in the wall. Voices. Hello? Hello? My name is Ellen. And things here are... <sighs> okay. First off, I am really proud to be an engineer at Light Matter Technologies. But... Really? I don't know what the truth is anymore. People are getting sick left and right. Tape recorders have been banned. And... Now, until launch, all outside communication is prohibited. Not only that, leave permits are invalid. Virgil and Arthur, the pioneers of science. I can't believe they're doing this. They've been fighting each other for weeks, so I knew something was wrong, but I never thought they would lock down the facility like this. I guess whoever is listening to these tapes, if you're in the facility, Please keep them hidden, just until we can get them away from here. To someone who can help spread the truth, when I find it. I will try, Ellen. I will try. I'm a genius. I'm curious, what am I standing on? Where that core thing goes on. Should I be? Is there radiation here? I figured that I'm gonna need this light. Come here, light. Oh no! Oh, there's a bit of competition. Oh no! I walked into it. Take recorder? Ellen here. I don't know what to do. I was sleeping in the lab when suddenly I felt something on my head. I opened my eyes and Arthur is standing over me in the dark holding a vial. Before I could do or say anything, he just said it's for the better. What? What? How exactly is pouring liquids into my hair for the better? I wish I'd said that. But there he was. Arthur. The CTO of Light Matter Technologies. The man I spent years working with. The man I am helping to save the world. I could barely recognize him. Let's try that. There we go. Come with me. I feel like I need you. You're my only source of light. <gasps> Ellen. I can't stop Arthur. Nobody believes a man of that status would poison people like that. And apparently. Losing my hair at the age of 31 isn't proof enough. I need to take more drastic measures. 31, you're in your prime, love. You're gonna stand up to C corporate America. Or wherever you are. Ah, the ventilation system. of a waste of time you are and took a shortcut you're much closer to the elevator so well done inspector now <laughs> you're not supposed to be in that part of the facility but never mind you will be taking what you see here to your grave what don't worry it's just a standard non-disclosure agreement 
Oh, thank God for that. Okay. Ah, okay, they open the doors. And... Another one over here. Hmm. You must have gone through the ventilation chambers. Wait. Did you wear a breathing mask? No. Uh, those chambers are littered with microcrystalline particles. Expected, since they are the lungs of light matter technologies. But instead of focusing on the years of life you've just lost, let's focus on the happy fact that your shortcut saved us... Um, let's couple of hours. What? Go that way. Hmm, okay. One hour later. Your progress has stalled. That's the problem with complimenting government workers. Once you do, they stop working. James, on the other hand, would have taken that compliment in his stride. Yeah, well, it's James. James is brilliant. Much, much later. Just at it. Reach for the bottom one. You can't go through the window. No, sorry. Oh, wait. Oh, I figured it out. I'm a genius. I'm a freaking genius. Ah, look at that. In your face! In your face! Green sign? Inspector, I admire competence and you've shown some. The button. Oh! You know, when Arthur's wiring overloaded, I was fortunate enough to get stuck in an elevator with my engineers. But I make the most out of bad situations, so we had an hour-long conversation, much like this one. I talked, and they listened. Boring. That's not really a definition of a conversation. That sounds like torture. Ha! I'm a genius, I tell you. There we go. Come to me, my baby. It's a good boy. Look at you managing those lamps. I know that being in charge can feel incredible, but this is sad. Impressive! You're the smartest inspector I've ever met. A low bar, sure, but a bar nonetheless. Oh, thank Hold you. On. I'm waiting. So rude. That goes that way. Okay. What an interesting phone call. Hmm? My security manager, James, just got a hold of our government contacts. They told him that we were not scheduled for an inspection today. And since you are not on the guest list, James doesn't know who you are. <gasps> James! But I do. 
It's obvious. You're a journalist. It fits. Your kind always go to such extremes for your stories. I would like to remind you that freedom of the press does not extend to trespassing. We'll have a talk once you get out. No! James lied! Ah, damn it! I need something to point at me at. Hmm, a journalist. I've had my fair share of experience with your kind. Always trying to make me show a sign of weakness. So let this be a reminder. I have none. Okay, that was pointless, I still gotta open the bloody door. At the light. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Gotcha. That opens the door. I jump across. And I grab the light, it goes away. Bob's your uncle, I have a lit path. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. The shadow anomalies are not spreading beyond the facility. They are local to the core. Also, we have had countless test runs on the core before today, and there have never been any signs of shadow anomalies. There is a simple explanation for that. You see, my engineers desperately strive to impress me. So during <laughs> the launch event, one of them turned up the core's energy output. Understand, for every 100 megawatts I spend powering the core, I normally receive 107 megawatts. And today, that number increased to 111 megawatts. But I take full responsibility for my engineer's wrongdoing. I'm finding a solution, and he's finding a new career. The fire. Actually, he's probably dead. What? You killed him! Oh, you found the employee handbook, written by me. Let me give you a quote. Before anything else, preparation is the key to success. End quote. That's where I need to go. Let's do it, I can get the door open. Oh, I just worked it out. I'm an idiot. Journalist, you must admit that the shadow anomalies are fascinating. No. Think about the applications. Organic waste disposal, 
Mold removal. Pest control. The possibilities are endless. No. I don't want anything that can kill me. It's bad you enough. See I that picture. My employees had a joke once. They made a poster that named James as the employee of the month. I liked the idea, so I had a bigger one printed. As you were saying before. No. Walking I sideways with a lamp. Clever solution for a journalist. Oh. <laughs> Haha! Oh wait. Just light the way, I don't need any other lamp. Bye lampy! Entrance to research and development. I know that you're eager to explore more of light matter technologies, but you overstayed your welcome long ago. If it's any consolation, I'll let you write an exclusive about me. <gasps> How does that sound? Just remember that non disclosure agreement we discussed. Also, you are trespassing, and I have a legion of lawyers. Um, yep. Oh, that's a nice change. I don't have to move any lamps. Um. So, journalist, our time together is sadly at an end. What? The elevator is just upstairs. Listen, I know that I mentioned lawyers earlier. Yes. It's just that a man like me needs to be careful. I understand the need for journalists. People in power need to be held accountable. I'm no exception. I just hope you're fair when you write about me. Well, you've tried to kill me many a times. You've threatened lawyers at me. And it's like, oh. I don't know what to think anymore. Journalist, here's something for your exclusive. As you can probably imagine, I was a smart child. Huh. I built a calculator when I was seven and made it solar powered when I was eight. But the most I could ever get from my father was a half hearted grunt of acknowledgement. Some would call that neglect. I call that motivation. And? This proves that you can, you kill people is okay. Idiot. Ah! Listen, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but without me, you would be lost forever. So here's an idea for your front page. Leader shows me the light in a moment of darkness. Write it down. With what, mate?
done, journalist. When you meet James, ask him to check the time and tell him that I won. <laughs> See you on the other side. Oh. Is that it? Uh, oh, through the window. That cock don't work. I haven't noticed. Listen, I'll, uh, I'll think of something. Start heading back. I'll tell you when to stop. Heading back where? I'm gonna go get down? I just got up here. What's in here? Jeez, look at that. Someone, someone's got a problem with coffee. Yeah. 